Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you're new here. Thank you so much for joining. I make a bunch of lifestyle, vlogs, fashion, wedding related content. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and stick around. But I made a bridesmaid proposal box video and you guys really seem to love that video. If you have not checked it out and you are trying to make your bridesmaids boxes, make sure you check it out. I'll link it up here. But I just wanted to keep showing you our progress of our wedding planning. So this is the next step. We are now sending out our save the dates. I think I did this pretty affordably. Um, I was trying to stay kind of on a budget for this because I'd rather spend the money on the actual invitations. And I was looking into doing them myself and just getting them printed at Staples. And it honestly didn't seem that much cheaper to me. So I'm gonna walk through exactly what I did to get these done professionally and pretty much stay on a good budget. So if you're interested, make sure you keep watching and we'll get right into it. So I made my save the dates on a website called Truly Engaging by Magnet Street. And this is not affiliated with them at all. I just wanna put, put that out there first. Um, I just found their website actually from a TikTok. I was looking at other websites and this was by far the cheapest one I found. So it was really nicely sent. It's just a little box and it came with envelopes as well. So just a little box with tissue and our save the dates and envelopes. So for our save the dates, they had a bunch of different templates that you could use. I actually ended up, they had an option to create your own little template. So that is what I did. Um, so I'll show you one of the save the dates. This is what it looks like. They're front and back pictures of Matthew and I. I absolutely love the way they turned out. I just wrote save the date. Uh, Matthew and Sarah, the date of our wed wedding is May 29th, 2022. The back has where it is and our wedding website. So I didn't really think the save the date needed much more information than this. And I didn't want to clutter it up. It was two big pictures of us. So I didn't want to add too much text to, to like take away from the pictures. Um, obviously there is going to be an actual invitation with all the information and everything they need to know. But for now, this is just the save the date. Um, but this is a very nice hard card stock. Um, I was worried about that actually because I didn't do any upgrades or anything. There's a lot of different upgrades they have that you could do on the website for thicker paper and like different shapes of the paper. I just left everything like standard just to keep it cheaper. Like I said, again, I would rather spend more money on the actual invitations to make those really fancy and fun and everything than the save the dates. These are still very, very nice hard cardstock though. And I really do love them. So I ordered 60 save the dates. We actually only needed like 40 or so, but I would rather have extras just in case and to add 20 more was only like 10 more dollars. So the total for the 60 save the dates and 60 um, envelopes was only like $54. So I really found that really affordable to be honest. All the other websites that I was looking at for save the dates were like upwards of like 100 to 150 bucks for 60. and. Honestly, $54 <laughs> sounded like a really, really good deal to me. And I really love the way they came out. I'm very happy with them. And they came with um, just white envelopes. Like I said, there was also an option to personalize them and get the addresses printed on. And I decided not to do that. And I am going to say right here, that was a mistake on my part. I do, If I had to do it again, I would rather spend the extra money and not have to deal with the hassle of writing the names out or printing them myself, which is actually what we did. So this morning, I'm going to block out the address, but um, we went and printed all the addresses on, actually just with our computers and printers ourselves. It was pretty simple. So what we did in Word, there is in the mailings tab in Word, there is on the far left, a little section called envelopes. So if you click on that, you can get your envelope size and you can type in all the information for your envelopes and print straight from Word, which was pretty easy once we got the hang of it, but I'm not gonna lie, Matt and I were arguing over it because we couldn't get to work for so long, but I'm happy to say we got it and they look very nice. Like um, I'm obviously not showing the whole address because these are our family and friends, but it looks very nice. We only did the address it's being sent to because I actually bought a stamp 
from, again, covering the address, but I bought an Etsy stamp for Matt and I's address um, before I knew we were going to be printing these out. I originally thought we were going to write them out. I got calligraphy pens and everything. I tried to do a few and they were awful. So I decided before I made too many that looked really god awful to just go print them. And I'm so happy that we chose to do that because they look so much better. So we have, I think only around 40 save the dates to send out because a lot of them are families. I'm not going to send them to each individual family member, obviously. So that is what we did. And the last thing that I got for our save the dates, just to make them a little bit more special, was this little wax seal. And it just says M heart S. You obviously can't really see it very well on here. Um, it's backwards and everything, but I'll show you once I stamp the wax in the envelope. It looks really nice. And this is something we can reuse for our save the dates, our invitations, our thank yous everything between um it was only like 15 dollars, so it's really cheap and it also came with a bag of wax which you could pick whatever color wax you wanted i went with gold um for the save the dates but i think for the wedding invitation i'm gonna find like a cream color wax seal so also <laughs> um i didn't buy the like stand for the little the wax melter thing so i'm actually just gonna hold this over a little flame to wax that to melt the wax but if you had that little contraption to hold this above the flame that would make your life a million times easier there's also um wax sticks that you can buy and put in a glue gun which i probably will do next time as well but since i have this bag of wax i don't want it to go to waste i'll link all of the etsy sellers and this uh, magnet street down below in the description if you're interested, but this was only 20 bucks. So this could be used for all the other invitations, all, all of our other mail as well. So I thought this was a pretty good purchase just to have, but let's get right into making the save the dates. Okay, so I have my pile of envelopes here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just stamp our address at the top left-hand corner. Sorry, I don't want addresses to be shown, but I'm just going to go through all of the envelopes and stamp them now and then I will insert the save the dates into the envelopes and seal them last because I don't want to have to be pressing on the seal and whatever. So that is the process we're going to be doing for these. So here we go. And here is what um, that looks like. So I have completed all of the addresses. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting one of those stamps if you were planning on writing addresses out. It's doable to do like write addresses of the people you're sending them to, but to write your address over and over and over again, I could only imagine how tedious and annoying it would be. So I am beyond happy I spent the 20 bucks on this. Um, I would definitely recommend to do that. But now we just have to fill the envelopes with our save the date and wax seal them, which this is going to take forever because I have to m melt each individual wax block for the um, things, which I didn't think about, but. And I'm putting all the save the dates like facing out when you open them because people usually open and then pull this way. So I want the front to be there. I just finished putting all of the save the dates in the envelopes that we already pre-made and I actually have 25 leftover save the dates. We'll probably plan on sending, sorry that baby hair is driving me nuts. <laughs> we probably will plan on sending about like five more. There's just some addresses we couldn't get in time that we know like we're gonna still have to send. So I would say I overestimated the save the dates by like 20, which is kind of what I was like kind of like thinking, but I wanted to have plenty just in case we ended up needing them. But if I didn't have to buy 20 extra and only bought like 40, 
I probably only would have spent like 35 to $40, which is really, really good for a save the date. So I think I definitely went overboard a little bit, but I'd rather have too many than not enough. And it's definitely very affordable. So the next and most tedious part is the wax. So I am literally lighting, I'm going to light a little tea light and just prop it over. We did a few of them last night just to like test out. We did Matt's grandparents um, and it didn't take that long. They weren't awful, but this is definitely the tedious part. I wish I had the little contraption to place it on. That would have been so much easier, but I don't. And this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to get started and let's jump right into it. So I'm going to light a little tea light. And I'm actually just gonna use two of these little wax cubes per envelopes. Okay, and we're just gonna let that dry and sit there for just a minute. And now I'm going to pull it off. So let's see if we can pull it off gently. And there we go. And here is what it looks like. I love the way wax seals look. So it just says M heart S. It's so pretty. So that is our first completed, com fully completed save the date. We just have to get the stamp on it and send them out. So I'm just gonna keep doing these for a while. It's gonna take a long time. And yeah, here we go. I had to get a real candle because my little tea light was not staying lit. I think it's just a little too breezy in this room. It is about an hour later after you last saw me doing the wax melt and I am about to pull off the wax, last wax melt from the envelope, which is very exciting. And there we go. So here are all of the save the dates. We have a lot to send out. Now we just have to run and get stamps from the post office and send them all. So very easy, very cheap. And I'm so happy with the way they turned out. I love the way the wax melt kind of personalizes it a little bit more. It looks so nice and just a little bit more special. So I'm really happy that I ended up doing the wax seal. They all turned out great, even if they're like not perfect. It's just kind of like a fun little touch that I hope people appreciate because I love little details like this. Um, so that is the last of the save the dates and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe found something that's helpful. Maybe a little tip or trick to print the um, addresses on the envelope from Word. That was a really great help because if I had to sit here and address all of these save the dates, I would have been here for hours, like hours and hours and hours. And it already took me like maybe an hour and a half. The longest part was obviously the wax because I had to melt each wax seal individually, which was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's definitely worth it. I'm very happy with the way they turned out. Again, I'll link all the Etsy sellers and the save the date website down below in the description if you're interested. Also, make sure you subscribe to stick around if you're interested in wedding planning content. We have so much more to do. I'm going dress shopping in a week from today, so I will make a video of that and that will be going up on my channel shortly. Thank you all for joining and watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps out my channel and helps me out, so I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.